Brussels sprouts look abundant. They look amazing. Guys, we're in the zone one permaculture orchard. We've been waiting for water in here for years. We got it. And the, and the forest systems are working. A nice rhubarb coming up. Our protected pota potato bed. Look at the thickness of this onion. Now, this is a giant mustard here going to seed. See the black seed there in my hand? So this is just gonna come up on its own all over the ground here. And now that there's moisture, we have Love Lies Bleeding Amaranth coming up. Some that I planted, which will yield, uh, a, you know, a an ounce or more seed. Once it uh, seeds out. And this is exciting. The uh, layers of mulches I've been putting on for years, now that they're wet, we've got natural seeding happening of uh, grains and edibles. This is a wild mustard. I mean, a giant red leaf mustard. And there's some green mustard. So it's coming up naturally, which is how a forest system should work. Self-seed. Look at all this... Uh, Red orac, purple mountain spinach. It's gonna be self-seeding with my help and it's gonna come up first thing in the spring everywhere because this forest system has begun working with chop and drop and other techniques. It does not look like the desert in here, <laughs> but it does out there. Very excited. I've got a fall planting of some peas in this area. We've got some late season snaps. Mm. Zucchini heaven. Some heirloom Italians climbing beans this is all winter wheat coming up now that it's mulched it's amazing <laughs> what water does in the desert look at it all that's all grain crop you can see how prolific these uh Calabacita. This is just what I harvested before I started the vid. And you watch the lacto fermentation video. So these are growing on my hugel uh, mounds, which are still activating. Don't want to just leave them fallow. So uh, planted some squash, some amazing heirlooms that one of the viewers sent us. Really excited by this French patty pan custard squash, uh, atomic custard. So we're gonna be really stoked to eat that. <laughs> then we got some pumpkins. See one down there. And so the hugel mounds are now getting wet and saturated and priming up. Look at that little guy, a little mini pumpkin. Edible chrysanthemum is uh, flowering and seeded. You know, the seeds are going to be in the seed head here. Once it dries, they'll all be inside of this head right there. But these aren't ready. The basil is going to be seeding, so I'll show you that. We've got some lacinato kale. And here is uh, coriander gone to seed. Well, the seed is coriander, and those are the green balls here so cilantro turns to coriander and then you get coriander seed 
We got some nice carrots growing in here, which we're not gonna harvest for a while because they're small. Some lunar whites. A couple apples still ripening that the birds haven't gotten. And just amazing biodiversity now that we have water. Who would have thunk it? Honey locusts is our nitrogen fixer. We've got pestamon here seeding amazingly, which is a native purple flower. Look at all those seeds. We got some sprouts coming up here. Definitely food I planted. And on and on, it's just layer upon layer, which is the whole purpose of this system. Let's come over here and look at this amazing amaranth. And just look at the size of that drapery. Fantastico. Do you think we'll have any volunteers growing up here next year? Probably. Hope you got something out of the video. Success comes in all sizes. Wild grains in your potato crop. And wild mustard's just waiting for you to eat. Delicious. Thanks for coming. Biodiversity is the key to success.